Hello and welcome to the photoclub 7910com Today I want to talk about the non-woven background. I came across that some of the sites or even on eBay or somewhere uh, they named them vinyl. Uh, it's not vinyl, it's non-woven uh, because the vinyl is thicker and it's like a plastic lug and it's flat non-woven it has a, like squares on the surface and they like pull it in pull it out like it's like a clipping it's like a, a waffle leg like, you know i will be saying yeah the surface will be a waffle leg like, you know and it's not so thick like it's like a plastic fabric or something like that like so it's 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 totally different to the vinyl like you know and I, I did already once a video about all backgrounds, like the non-woven, vinyl, cotton. I explained what's the difference between them. So today I want to just uh, explain everything about the vinyl and nothing else. And I want to show you how it looks like if you use them as a product shooting. Like, but also you can use like... I, I will be saying instead of paper because the paper it will be a little bit expensive comparing to the non woven it's cheaper to the paper like you know but it's doing the same job like it just when it's too close then it's a trouble like you know because of the surface it's not flat and so on so on so I wanna the non woven it's uh, there's a, it has a, one small problem. It's not big deal, but it's still a small problem for some people. Like, if you can see on my table already, like, that I have piece of uh, non-woven and it was like punched on, stays like that, and it was the creases as you can see on the background. So if you're gonna order it something like that so respect that uh, you're gonna get it the background with the creases like and it's not gonna be flat like in situation with white background if you have a creases then you need uh, to lighten up background if it's in the hurry and you don't have a time to iron it i've tried to do few times iron it it's not work for me like you know so i left it for a while stays pull it down like and it's getting flat but it's after like six months so in my opinion if you are decided to buy non-woven and you have a troubles with the creases like you don't want to deal with the creases it's better buy on tube because it's always, as you can see, it's flat and there's no creases on it, it's it's gonna be flat, like, so you roll it, roll it out, and it's perfectly fine, like. Another small trouble, it's like, as I said, this, uh, when you're taking a pictures, you can see the surface, I'm gonna show you now, with my camera, like, that I'm gonna take it a picture, close one, and you can see, just one sec and just focus it if you do something like that then you can see the around the product those uh, like <laughs> waffles and uh, maybe for somebody it's not look so good but sometimes you can use it as an effect but in this situation, as I said, like, if you use a white one, just do a little bit lighten up extra and you're getting just flat white around it, like, you know. With the black, if you do on the black, you have to step away a little bit from the background and then less uh, lights on the background then it's perfectly fine with the green it just disappeared like you can just i can just even try now to do so i'm gonna take a picture with the green 
And then I'm gonna just lose the background and I put the something else, like we'll see. Now, so, like, that's all. That's nothing much talk about the non woven As I said, if you don't wanna have troubles with the creases, buy a new tube. Um, use far distance if you have already something like, step away from the background if it's black uh, just less uh, light on the background. White one is a uh, little bit lighting up with the blue. I'm not gonna lie to you, I never tried like so. That's all. Thanks for watching. All the best from photoclub 7019com Good luck.